Grace Aquello has not lost hope for her 20-year-old daughter, Alisa Jok, a victim of the nodding syndrome. Since 2011, she has been seeking treatment to have her daughter regain her health. Challenges encountered by parents of nodding syndrome victims are countless. Nutrition is top. The syndrome impairs mental and physical development of a victim, and when their nutrition is poor, it strikes even harder. Aquello has high hopes in the new supplement launched by the National Medical Stores and Doctors' Choice. It is the first time the supplement with the concentration of selenium and moringa will be administered to the nodding syndrome victims. A U.S. study concluded that selenium slows the rate of HIV progression and indirectly improves CD4 count. So what results could be expected with the combination of moringa? We have to have it in a supportive approach. We have the approach of the treatment of the epilepsy. We have the management of, uh, of, of the nutrition basis because it was found, research has found, that all the nodding disease patients are deficient of selenium in their system. And one of the important issues in improving the supportive therapy and the outcome is if they have selenium in their system, and that improves also their ability to have increased appetite. Moringa plays a role by, by having 92 nutrients that are very important important. We have vitamins, minerals. It's a superfood. National Medical Stores has budgeted for 1,200 children to benefit from the supplement. Yeah, it is a corporate social responsibility. So the board of directors passed the budget for corporate social responsibility and it's the one that we are using to buy this uh, replenish for, for these children. They are using locally available materials from Uganda and they are giving a market and they are giving money the producers of Moringa here in Masindi. The supplement can be used by anyone who wishes to boost their immunity. But National Medical Stores has outsourced it for children in a dire situation like those in Omoro, Kitugum, Padel, Gulu, and other affected districts. Deputy Speaker of Parliament Jacob Olenya launched the supplement and recommitted to manage the syndrome. Office of the Prime Minister is now involved, the Minister of Health has continued, and now the focus is much better than it was before. The money that we got, I think Omoro District got about 170 million, it has been used. In the budget that we are preparing now, they have put about 230 million for community intervention to try and support the families that have children affected with this syndrome. At the recently reopened Nodding Syndrome Center, 25 children are receiving treatment. 187 are being treated at home, while hundreds more are no longer managed with drugs but will be beneficiaries of the supplement. Frank Olisimbi, NTV.